Dawson with the Cellar Masters Home Winemaking Club of Los Angeles and today we're going to be talking about sanitizing bottles. So for those of you who wish to reuse bottles that you may have around, we're going to look at how to do that pretty simply here. But what I would recommend is if you're bottling more than a small quantity of wine, you probably are better off going out and buying cases of bottles. It's a lot less labor intensive and they're not that expensive. So I think that that's probably a good choice if you have a larger quantity of wine to bottle. Okay, a few pieces of equipment you're gonna need for bottling is number one, you're gonna to wanna to have a, a bottle sulfiter, which is just simply a little pump that puts the sanitizing solution into the bottle. Some sanitizing solution, uh, Star San, very commonly used and available through most winemaking stores. A bottle brush, I recommend just having one of those for a quick uh, little rinse out, and a bottling tree to dry the bottles once they're sanitized. Okay, you're going to need somewhere to soak the bottles in the sanitizing solution, so we have a nice deep double sink here. You could use a single kitchen sink, a utility sink, and even a bucket if you had to, if you had nowhere else to soak them. Clean that bucket, fill it with your sanitizing solution, and go ahead and put the bottles in it. I recommend soaking the bottles for about 15 minutes. Okay, after the bottles have soaked for about 15 minutes or so, I'm going to take them. Notice I've been soaking my bottle brush in the sanitizing solution also. And I will go ahead and just do a quick little... Uh, clean out of that bottle to make sure that there's nothing sticking to the sides. What I would recommend is that after you finish your bottle, if you want to reuse it after you finish the wine, just give it a good rinse and put it upside down into a case box to let it drain. That way you usually won't end up with any sediment or anything still in there. And what we're going to do is just go ahead and empty that bottle out of the sanitizing solution and then move on to the sulfiter and the bottle tree. All right, now the next thing that we're going to do is just go ahead and give that bottle a couple of quick squirts of sanitizing solution in there on the sulfiter, and then go ahead and put it on the bottle tree to allow it to drain and to air dry. Now once your bottles have been sanitized and allowed to air dry, the next step is going to be to store them until they're ready to use if you're not using them right away. Okay, what I've found for one of the easiest ways to store your sanitized bottles before you use them, if you're not using them right away, is just to go ahead and put a, a piece of clean waxed paper in the bottom of a regular case box, taking the insert out, and then I will put the insert back in. Once the insert is in, the wax paper is at the bottom, then what I'm going to do is just go ahead and take my bottles and put them in upside down so that they, if there is any drainage, it goes onto the wax paper, doesn't go through to the cardboard, and also, most importantly, the bottle won't stick to the cardboard if it is still a little bit wet. Okay, so there we have it. If you want to reuse your own bottles rather than buying new ones, this is a quick and easy way to sanitize those bottles and store them for when you actually need to use them. So once again, this has been Mark Dawson with the Cellar Masters Home Winemaking Club of Los Angeles, showing you a quick and easy way to sanitize your existing bottles rather than going out and buying new ones. I hope this helped, and until next time, happy drinking, everyone.